run from the age of two and when you've been doing other sports your muscles have developed in a certain way but the thing that shocks me the most that you can do something about is your running shoes your shoes your actual running shoes yeah the large majority of people are running the wrong footwear what about mine are they bad yeah. richard they're a disaster there's no cushioning and there's no motion control you need a new pair of running shoes really oh i ain't shopping and this is why there's just too much choice for my tiny brain it looks like every other shop on the high street sells sports shoes, but Kerry's told me to ask specifically for a running shoe. Right, five pairs came in at £430. Let's hope I was well advised, bearing in mind the wrong shoes can cause injury. So of all these five shoes that I bought in high street stores as running shoes, how many of them are actually running shoes? Well, actually, it's only this one that's a proper running shoe. One pair one out of the pair. five. But this is a very good running shoe. It's got good cushioning. Yeah, it's got quite a lot of motion control there. So the rest are what? Fashion items? Mm. Or... Yeah, cross trainers, fashion items. So one pair? Yes. Not a good hit, right? No wonder people are injuring themselves. It's not their fault. They're being sold the wrong shoes. All right, you've brought me here to a specialist running shop. What's the difference going to be? Well, let's go and have a look. Okay, this is Ben, and the first thing he's going to do is um, measure you. Okay, hello, okay. Ben. Hello, your right heel. Yeah. Okay, now, thank you very much. I haven't had my feet measured since I was about ten. Uh, it's very important you get your feet measured for when you buy buying running shoes. Because a lot of people don't realise you do need to go up half a size. Your feet do heat up, and they will expand. Half a size. Yes. I was then fitted with running shoes, put on the treadmill, and filmed so the shop could analyse my running style and ensure that these were the ideal shoes for me. I never knew exercise could be so complicated. Can I stop, man? Can stop. Not everybody can get to a place like this, so what can you do if you can't? Right, the main thing when you're trying to choose a pair of running shoes and you can't get to a specialist shop is that you're allowed to try them on and you see them for comfort, that you're allowed to run in them, which is the main factor. If you find a pair of running shoes that suits you, then go and get a couple more before they come off the market. Really? Yeah. And the other thing I noticed is coming in here, I thought, well, specialist shop, they're all going to be 200 quid. Actually, running shoes are cheaper than the fashion shoes yeah. that I was being sold on the high street. So you, you're not talking about spending a fortune, you know, are you? You, know, you don't gain. I mean, a running shoe between 60 and sort of 85, 90 pounds, you, you, you're paying about the right of money. You Still a lot of money, but you're buying a shoe you're that'll work. The right, right. Shoe. You don't I'm going gain. to go and spend my money and buy my shoes that work in some running kit and go for a run, see if it works. <sighs> right. Oh, you know what? I feel a bit silly. I know I've got all the kit on and I know my shoes fit and I've spoken to an expert, but truth is, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to exercise. I couldn't be bothered with the gym and I can't be bothered with this. And is that just me? Or maybe, I mean, maybe that's just us. Maybe we can't be bothered because if we could, well, we'd all be really fit with exercise all the time. So I'm going to do some research. Well, when I say I am, I can't actually be bothered to do that either. So I'm going to call my researcher, get him on the case. Yeah. Jamie! Rich, hello. Yeah. So I find myself in an average suburban street in Scotland because my researcher has found out the following. Not only, according to this report, are people in Scotland kind of the laziest when it comes to exercise, but even when it comes to the easiest way of doing it of all, not going to a gym, not playing football, staying at home and using home exercise equipment, a third of people in Scotland who buy that kind of kit say that they use it once, if that. In some cases, it's still in the box. So, I'm in Helensburg to find out why. Hello. Hello. Do you have any kind of exercise kit? Oh, plenty. Lots really? of. Not really? used, though. It's exercise bike. You can't possibly exercise on it. It's got a coat hanging off it. And you well, it's can't... stuck down there as well, you yes. see. Did you use it much? I so... used it the once and then uh, never did. That was it. Um, is that a sort of electronic frisbee? You're meant to go like that. <laughs> oh, come on. And... So how many times have you used that? Well, hardly ever. I mean, that's still brand new as well. Hey, now, look. I know what this is. When I last moved house, the removal men said every house they do has got one of these stomach exercises in. <laughs> That's a workbench. <laughs> okay, or a watering can and diving suit rest. All my videos are in here somewhere. 
Seven Secrets of Yoga. What happened to Mr. Motivator? Share. <laughs> Share? That's singing and stuff, isn't it? Rosemary Connolly. Five You've Steps to Fat Loss. Joanna Hall. Who's Angela Griffith? She was in Coronation Street, remember? No. If this is anything to go by, Scotland must be awash with unused exercise equipment. Jane Fonda, there she is, the legend that started this whole video craze. You do know she was bulimic. Really? Yes. Yeah, so well, when she no. said when she said feel the burn, it was probably just stomach acid, to be honest. Well, right, I never yeah. knew that. Look at that man in the background! <laughs> You've gotta be joking! <laughs> He's going to come out of those shorts. I can't watch. Oh, man, that's too terrible. And the headband, that is a fashion that is not coming back. What does that man think he looks like? <laughs> With his little hairy pot. That's fantastic. Oh. OK, um, do you want to watch Mr Motivator? That's a good laugh to put on at parties when everybody's having a few drinks. Is that entirely what it was meant for? No, no, no. <laughs> There you are. This is what we do on the night. Right. <laughs> on a so Friday you know the, uh, evening, you'd be out with your bottles of lager and you'd be marching away. Like, spill it. When yeah. you get a dozen sailors round here all dancing to Mr. Motivator. Oh, crikey. Yes. I'm surprised there's anything left in town. It's just not the sailors. I mean, the wife's come round as well. It's not one of them mad parties. No, that's fine. <laughs> it's not all true what they say about sailors. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Cher on then. Come on. Check Cher's outfit on. Sure, we've all got Whoa. outfits like that to work out with. There's sinister undertones to this video. But hang on, hang on. It's the woman with the headband on at the front. She's the expert. So Cher is just one of the people in the class. <laughs> so you are paying for a video just to watch Cher at an exercise class. So she's getting paid whilst just getting fit. Exactly. Right. So if you know that these things don't work for you, why do you keep buying them? I think I'll find a video tip one day that will work for me. So is it just Donna who wastes money on exercise equipment she doesn't use? I'm off to check out the friends and neighbours. What's this? A lateral thigh trainer. How many times have you used it? About three times. <laughs> what is this? Oh, here you go. It's an abs thing. How long have you had that? Seven years. And how, how, how often do you use it? I've never used it. You've never? No. This is our um, state-of-the-art gym in here. Right, OK. <laughs> You're giving this a big build up, it better be... Whoa, OK. We've got golf clubs, they're pretty recent. Um, exercise wheel here. Um, I think that's been taken out once, to be quite honest. Whoa! Yeah, What's that? Has this um, ever been you? I've used to skip up. How long have you had this? About a year. <laughs> this is the first loft I've been in. What are we looking for in here, then? Well, we've got a couple of videos in here. That's Jerry Halliwell. Jerry, yeah. How often have you done that? None. You've never used it? No, never used it. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. That's an ice skate. I think I know the answer to this. How many times have you worn these? Once. Here it is, look. Doing duty, holding the door open. And why don't you use it? Because I'm too lazy. <laughs> I admire your honesty. That's perfectly acceptable. How did this break? I can't remember. Was it through overuse? Probably. Really? I'm lying. No, nah, I thought yeah. you might have. There seems to be a pattern emerging here. Same story in nearly every house. These <laughs> are the best weights I've found yet. Look at these! So how many times have you ever used these? It's been that long ago, I forget. I feel like I've disturbed an archaeological find. Yeah. I'm going to put them back. <laughs> I've just noticed that other thing I've got there as well. That oh, yeah. thigh buster. Oh, yes. Well, why did you buy it? Because it was on the telly. <laughs> and you thought, <laughs> that's, that's just the what thing I for need. me. Why do we buy these things? I don't know. We have to start off with good intentions. I'm not very good unless I'm being supervised. I need other people to motivate me, I think. So the problem is we come home with these things. And this is going to be great, this yeah. is it. And yeah. then That's just it. enthusiasm. That's just... it. It's a shame, isn't it? I'll bring this out one day, though. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> I just don't get this. There is a whole billion pound industry that's grown up around the fact that we know we should exercise. And we go out and we buy all these videos and bits of kit. We look at the picture on the box and think, yes, I want to look like that. And then we take whatever it is home and we just can't be bothered. I mean, all these people here bought all these things that I've seen and then now they just ended up in the garage or the spare room or the shed. They can't be bothered to do it. Why? I'm off to do some proper old-fashioned research in a library. This is great stuff. 
and found this well-known and respected geneticist called T. 